Hello, it's Joe Lines, and in this video I'm going to cover using by reference in functions. In my previous video I mentioned that at least the ordinary way you use a function, you can only return one value. And in that, so let's say here I wanted to return um, either x or y or z, that's easy to do. I could add a return, ooh, return here, and that would return the, the three, it actually return the z variable, which has three in it, right? Um, in this one, though, right now, here, I have my function with the parameters x, y, z being called. Here, I have it defined that there's x, y, and z. Um, the, notice there is no values in x, y, or z, right? It doesn't exist. Um, in it, when I, when I save and run this, it comes back in blank, right? Because, why is that? Well, this x, y, and z are local inside the function, right? They're not getting returned outside the function. Um, and, and they have no values outside, so that's why they come back blank. Uh, so how you can, um, if you need to return more than one value, what you can do is um, call these as a, a by ref x, oops, by ref y, by ref z. So now what's going to happen is when I save and reload this, it is going to um, actually create and store, since they were blank, it's going to store in x, y, and z um, the 1, 2, 3 and be available outside of the function. There we go. So 1, 2, and 3. Um, that's Notice that's again, that's out here. My uh, hotkey isn't quite having it reload every time. Um, but outside the function, right, this is outside the function. So I have now set the variables to have x, y, and z in it. Now there's a second way, um, alternative way, that you can return more than one value. And that's, let's say, we were using, um, you can create an object inside. And when you return the object, of course, the object can have a lot of different things in it. And then you'd have to access it. Like, let's use um, string split. Um, we'll pass in var, so let's come back up here, and so var, we're going to pass it that, um, but we're going to return I'm going to call it obj for simplification, so I'm going to return obj and it's going to um, basically be an array that's splitting whatever I pet what word I pass to it. And here I will say, "Hello there, Joe." Um, and now here I am going to say, "Let's see." So if it's obj, obj dot one. So this is the first three um, items in the array of obj, which is what I'm returning back here. So hopefully I did this correct. Um, oh, man, I'm glad I caught this. So let me... Oops, wrong key. So I need to... And I did something wrong here. String split, obj, split var, I don't think, yeah, that should be fine. Um, it's returning obj, one, two, three. And I'm missing something. Return obj. So, oh, that is what I forgot here. Now when I do this, there we go, so H-E-L, and that is the quick, easy way to return an object, um, which of course allows you to have a lot of different stuff. That's it. Um, thank you.